Yo, what's going on guys? Going to do a guide on the General Radon boss fight. Uh, here's my setup. I got the Dismounter weapon, level 75. Uh, here's my Talisman. And then for my Wondrous Physic, I got the one that is gives you half your life back. And then the other part is the one that protects you from a big shot. Uh, so I know this is a little late, my typical fashion. Been super busy, so I know I'm like two or three weeks late to the party, but... They just did a patch, and I heard he's a lot easier. This is pre-patch. This is melee only. I don't use any spirit ashes, and I don't use the horse, and I don't summon any of the, uh, the ghost here. So that first shot, you can get behind cover. It'll block it. You're not going to make it unless you're a little faster than me, so you want to dodge that. The timing on these purple arrows is a little weird. You want to kind of roll at the very last second, and when you see him switch to the new arrows, you want to jump on the horse close to distance. Because once you get close enough, he's going to switch to melee mode. Uh, you might take a few shots like that, but it doesn't do too much damage. As long as you kind of, you know, really get out of the way. So I was using the Bloody Slash uh, Spirit of War, I think that's pretty much what it's called. It's a little overpowered, I kind of felt like I was cheating with it, but since I'm not using anything else, I accidentally used the horse there. But I didn't do any strikes off of it. Alright, so I didn't, you know, have a lot of time to uh, study his moveset, so I was just going to be aggressive, try to get behind him. Try to hit his right leg, left leg in the back, and just, you know, avoid the big shots. And, it, and it, I just got lucky it worked out for me. Um, I'm in the front here. Doing pretty good damage with that with that, with that Spirit of War. So when he puts the purple, uh, when he gets the purple swords, you gotta watch out for this pull. You can get caught by it, but you just gotta be quick and get behind him. And just watch out for that shockwave. Even if you're behind him, if you're too close, you'll still get hit by it. So you want to kind of uh, hang out in the back, wait for him to do it, and then move in. So you're going to get stun locked a lot, and it's a lot of bullshit, but you just got to, uh, you should have enough time to uh, take a sip of the flask in between big shots. So he got me again, so just get behind him, and then get your shot in the back. And once you see him get around halfway health, he's going to take off into that meteor. Um, just try to get some strikes in before he takes off. I take a sip of the flask, I get protection from a big shot. And then I kind of lost track of him, and I got hit by it. Look at it hit. Luckily, I had the protection. All right, so he's going to come in on fire. He's going to be more aggressive here. Just uh, watch out. This is probably the biggest bullshit of the fight, these purple meteors. So you want to definitely stay close, because it seems like once he gets distance, it's when he fires them off. So I was trying to stay as close as possible. Stay behind him. Um, but he is going to try to pull away and use them. Luckily, I get lucky. Luckily, I get lucky. And he does that gravity pull, which, br which brings me close. And then I was able to get the last hit. Like right here. If he would have fired him off, I would have been screwed. But he does this move instead and pulls me in. So then I only had a little bit of health left on him. So I got that l that lucky last strike. Uh, so being aggressive kind of worked out. Uh, and then just staying, trying to stay behind him. And just wait until you're the right level. If you try to do this fight too early, it's, you're just wasting your time. It's, the, you know, the game is big enough to go out and explore and level up um, without getting frustrated. Uh, but that's it. Any questions, let me know. Uh, see you guys later. Bye. Feel it, feel it, feel my bloody wrath. <laughs>